So we got a couple of AA batteries, we got a pair button, and we got a little tweak stick that helps us move the sensitivity level of a body mic. And this is the Audio-Technica System 10 Digital Wireless. It's running at the 2.4 gigahertz band, which is where Wi-Fi is. And Audio-Technica has figured out a way uh, to have the transmitter and the receiver talk to each other constantly in a duplex situation uh, and navigate the holes through Wi-Fi without it being audible when you switch from one place to the other in order to keep uh, a constant connection. And, and that's unique. It's a 10 milliwatt uh, transmitter. And I've taken it to 75 feet uh, out here, just outside of my house. It was really interesting. I got 75 feet out. I got a little bit of uh, dropout. And once I got past the point, then I went for about, what was that, about another 120 feet. So over uh, 100 feet. So why the dropout? Well, 2.4 gig is pretty sensitive and it's not going to penetrate the way UHF or VHF would. I don't know what's in the street out there um, at that point in time, although there was a, a big manhole cover. I don't know whether that had something to do with it or not. But uh, uh, obviously I got past that and uh, I got uh, past a couple of hundred feet with this, which really surprised me. The audio that you're listening to is right from the transmitter and right into the receiver. It's 48 kilohertz, 24 bit digital, and there's no compression. You know, you tell me what it sounds like. Um, 24 bit, 48 kilohertz, no compression. Hmm. What about the cost? The systems start at about 300 bucks and go up to about 400 bucks, depending upon whether you've got stuff like um, handheld uh, here, which has uh, also a couple of double A's inside and another tweak stick to adjust for the sensitivity. I'll, I'll flip this over on this one, turn this one off. Here's how you activate it. Let's see. Oh, this one tells me this one's running out of juice because it's blinking. Now, if I go to green, yeah, it's still blinking. I don't know whether this will work. This will be a good test. Here's the green light on this one saying, yeah, it's good. Now I mute it. So now we're just listening to this guy here. And it's kind of got an SM58 kind of sound. Um, this is the handheld. We'll go back over here to the head worn. And they also have the... Uh, MT830, I think, is the actual number of uh, the lavalier that uh, they've had at uh, Audio-Technica for some time now. And um, those are the microphones. The receivers are AC-powered. There's no battery-powered for them yet. And this is what they look like. Got two antennas in the front. Uh, you've got the number two letting you know that you're on channel two out of eight. On the back, there's a power there's a balanced XLR out. There's an unbalanced tip sleeve quarter inch out and a little tweak for gain, how much audio output comes out of this. And the little feet on the top here are so you can stack these eight deep. That's as many as you can have. And Audio Technica says, uh, by the way, in the old days, you know, you used to have wireless receivers and you'd put them in a metal rack somewhere in the studio. Well, with 2.4 gigahertz, that's not gonna work because the, uh, the metal of the rack will keep the uh, 2.4 gigahertz from working properly. So they like to see them out in the open somewhere. And uh, that's what they're suggesting for maximum range. How is range affected? Uh, well, when you get to the edges uh, of the 10 milliwatt power that these are running on, you either um, lose a connection or uh, maybe you don't have as many of these uh, operating as you wanted to. There are eight of them that you can operate at the same time. But if you're in a really hostile uh, Wi-Fi environment, that may go down some. So these are things to think about when you're starting to figure out where you might want to go in the future with uh, wireless mics. Again, Audio-Technica, this is the System 10 digital wireless, 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. You're hearing it right here today. And the range that I got, was 75 feet to the manhole where I picked up some sort of dropout. And uh, after I got past the manhole, um, then I went for another 40 yards, 120 feet. Um, 
and was really surprised that I got that far away. Will that do in your neighborhood, in your studio? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, and I was operating two systems simultaneously. What happens and I'm, if I'm in a really dense Wi-Fi community and I'm trying to run eight? Has yet to be determined. But uh, right now they look pretty good, sound good. And um, did I mention 3.4 milliseconds of uh, latency? Not too bad. So that's it. I just wanted you to hear what they sounded like, given all the other attributes, so that you could get a handle on um, the system and uh, you know what it might provide for you. See ya.